Look, I promised myself I wasn't going to make any videos anymore, but someone told me that there's a new tool out there, so let's get Olama to give us some advice. I'm loving the new interface for Olama. All right. Diet. All right. So instead of browser orientated, it's an ID. All right, you've, you've piqued my interest. Let's figure it out. What is this? Dyad. All right, I've seen this popping up on my feed. This is a special tool. I'm going to test it out. The biggest thing with it, I guess, is that it's able to use any model that you connect to it, including open router models. Let's see how it is. It says it's recommended to use German no, API key. All right, they have their own pro mode. All right. Yeah, so they got some way of making money out of this as well. I like it. All right, I can use any custom connector. All right, I'll give it a go. You sparked my interest, Mr. Dyad. I think that's how you pronounce it. Dyad. Daddy Dad. It's quick. I'll give you some of my data. I don't do anything that's weird. Free to custom provide. Or lava. Dyad. Uh, I think it's only some helpful. We'll just add that. See how it Go, my graphics card. Go. Do not cock it. That's what I thought. Let's see if I can use it. Let's just go with this. Let's see how you do. Mm -hmm. No, it's built in. How sexual. I wonder if I can download Quinn Free. Oh, that would be so cool. You will create the newsletter for me. And you will use Llama's GPT OS 20 billion parameter. And you will work using my graphics card power. Potentially. Alright, let's see if it's actually like something. Oh, it's done something. It's cocking my GPU memory and it's using a lot of compute. You can't see what it's doing though. That's pretty... You can't see the thing. But if this works, then this is a pretty cool ID GUI for creating apps. It's like an app container for bolt.diy. So it doesn't have to run through like a browser. You know, setup was easy as hell. You just had to download it and run it. Oh yeah, it's going to take the world by storm. Give it a week. Like, oh, I'm using Dyad to make my ten thousand million dollar startup. Love it. Mixing out everything. Love it. We'll come back in about. I think it's gonna take about twenty minutes. I'll time it. Starting now. Like we eventually got there in the end. That was like twenty percent of my time wasted for it to actually spin up something. Uh, doing stuff. This is running off um the GPT OSS lightweight twenty billion parameter model. You can run it on your phone. That's how small it is. They'll probably run really slow on your phone. All right, let's go on. It's doing stuff. This is absolutely free. I am loving this. This is actually going pretty fast. Faster than I expected. So completely free app creation using, instead of a browser, an IDE that's wrapped in a GUI. You can see the code here as it builds it, which is sick. It obviously comes with like pre-built because I did not see all these components getting made from... So, ooh, okay. Let's see sex. See where it is. I'll prove these changes. I'll see the new app TSX. Use that TSX. So it does a lot of the heavy lifting already because a lot of these uh, placeholders are ready when I started the new chat. So it's actually a pretty smart system. Okay. Shit, there. Click create. Oh, AI apps. Open source. If diet. Free apps browsers. Cool. And what is that? Doing? Nah, I'm not done with this yet. We need to make it better. You need to add AI to the newsletter creator page so it can generate newsletter based on the input. Go, my little AI. Go. Oh, I gotta wait for it to initialize all over again, though. That's what I hate. Unless it's faster on the second message. Tired of waiting on AI? Get Dad Pro for faster edits. Oh, bro, this is a scam match. This is a scam. <laughs> they even know when you're using open source, like. Stop open source, click pro. It'll be faster. No, I'm still impressed with what it was able to do. What have we got here? Fully out. Good amount of GPU. 90% GPU, 10% CPU. Only a little bit of offload on the CPU. No, I'm pretty, pretty cool. No, it's not going to be that bad. I have a lot of faith in this beautiful open source OSS. Thanks to OpenAI for finally realizing they had the name open. Shushner. I'm going to stop recording because my graphics card is overheating. I'll be back once the generation begins. All right, back again. And it's doing stuff now. It's added a new client method for grabbing API, GPT-35. So it's going to do stuff now. That's cool. Nice. And still just 
clogging away with the open source version of GPT OSS. Killing it right now. If only 16 gigabytes size, 90% of the processor is being lifted by GPU. This is really good. And what it's creating for such a small size, like, I don't know if I plug this in to Cord or um, Google 2.5 Pro, it's going to do much better and it's going to be much faster. But this is still very impressive now to see what we got. Preview. Well, it's not going to do anything because obviously we have uh, no API in the environment. Let me add one in and I'll come right back. The secrets tab. Where the fuck is that? Ah, this is a lot better than I expected. It actually connects to things, which is pretty good. Where is the secrets tab? Ah, environment. Ah, this is so easy to use. Okay. All right. Thanks to this beautiful thing, I found out where you have to go to add the environment variables, and it actually works so well. It keeps it out of the code, which is very much kind of like how it needs to be when you deploy it to a cloud platform. It's a Diab, the new Vault DIY killer. <laughs> See if it works now. Hey, macaroni. Whoa. Now that's good. We made a little newsletter generator app in no time at all. Yeah. This is too cool. All right. Diad passes my quick overnight AI learnings check. I will probably use this over Bolt DIY. So if you guys want to install this, just go to diad.sh, click download. It's that simple. Oh, yeah. This is going to replace Bolt DIY real quick. Let's see that pricing. That pricing is fat. That will tell me $30 a month. That's like cursor. That's really good. If you want even more credits, you can do $79 a month. Thank you, Wool Chen. You're a nice dude. So the, for those that are too lazy to set up their own API keys and get everything started, you can just click Diet Pro and he'll pay all the AI on behalf of you guys. And then I would love to see how much credits go into each call though. There's no real discussion on the pricing. Let's find out. Yeah. Use... It does look very seamless. I'm very happy with this. Well done, Mr. Wilchin. And he's even got modes to allow you to use less tokens. Number of tokens times cost per token. Honestly, it doesn't sound like a bad, bad at all. These are really, and you even just suggest like free for you to utilize like 2.5 for the 500 free requests per day and then they open router. Um, deep version free, free, which is really good. Yeah, this is nice. And I guess even if you don't um, use servers for their API credits, you can still use their like, oh, this for sure is Quinn Free Coder. Uh, there's no doubt. Turbo Edit is offline. Yeah, yeah, this is Quinn Free Coder, bro. And then Smart Context allows it to work faster using a local AI. And it just includes the most relevant files in your code base. So that way, AI doesn't have to search for your code base. It's kind of smart. And you got Smart Context, Smart Auto. So you can still bring your, like with, the, oh, that's pretty smart. So with his pro mode, you can use the AI credits. And then when you run out, you can just use smart auto to, it will pick the um, best AI model for the task you ask. And that's actually pretty good. Cause like when I asked the question there about where the environment key should be, that should have probably gone to a cheaper LM. And then it can go to a stronger LM when it's a more heavy task, like Claude um, Opus 4, if it needs to do something very complex. And if it can handle multiple LMs, that's pretty sick. So, yeah, there we are in the pro than just the, uh, the AI credits. All right. Thank you, Will Chen. This guy is a, is a legend for providing this. Okay. If you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think about this new tool. Is it the Bolt DIY killer that uh, is to be the next big thing in vibe coding? I like it. Honestly, it it's great. Like it's built very, very much with uh, TypeScript and kind of React in mind. So uh, the fact that it has a publish to this cell button as well, which means it's uh, very good for that kind of quick web app creation alongside using like GPT-4, Grok-4, or one of the strong coding models like Opus uh, from Anthropic, you are going to probably be able to build anything you want in like no time at all and deploy it, dry it. So I'll give this more of a deeper test later, but for a first recap video, this is pretty cool and I'm pretty impressed by it. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. 
and see you guys in the next video.